So we've now got the bath into the bathroom and these are the feet. So we need to take the adjustable foot and put it through this beam making sure that the spring washer is at the bottom. So that's one of the feet that's been fitted to the bar that's going to go across the bath. So if you look at the bath, it's actually marked out where to actually put the legs and the holes in the bottom have actually been pre-drilled for you. So we're going to get the screws that have been provided and we're going to set the drill to a low torque setting and we're just going to drill the screws in. So we've temporarily put the bath in place now. Uh, we've not actually leveled it yet because we're just working out where everything's gonna go. And I've put the laser level directly at the end of the bath there where the bath panel's gonna go. And if you look down towards the floor, you can see that it's actually touching the first pipe and it's remarkably close to the second pipe. So there's actually a joist down there as well that's stopping us from moving the pipes forwards. So we're going to move the bath that way by 20 mil, and we're going to do that by packing out the other end. So if you look in this corner, this wall over here, this wall is a solid wall and we've actually fixed the plasterboard to that. This wall here is a stud partition that's in front of a, a masonry wall, but we've not actually fixed that board on yet, we've only put two screws in it. And if you look at the bath here, in that corner it's actually touching the plasterboard and then in this corner here we've got a gap of about 10 mil that you can get your finger down. Now that makes it extremely hard work when you come into tile it because you end up with a gap in this corner. So if you get your square in the corner and just check it you can see that that sheet of plasterboard is out by a couple of mil. So we're going to take this plasterboard off and we're going to adjust the stud position at the back of it to bring us out by 10 mil at this side and then the corner will be perfectly square and then when we put this square in the corner it'll be completely square and we know then that when we come to fit the bath the bath is going to be completely square on both edges which makes it an hell of a lot easier when you're coming to fit it. So this is the wall where the wall mounted tap is and on here we're going to put the shower at a later date. So what I've done is I've run these battens across and I've squared the whole thing up. So that now if I get a square and put it in that corner, the corner is completely square, which will make it a lot easier when we come to fit in the bath. I've also marked on each edge where the actual studs are that I've put in. And then when we put the plasterboard on there, it's easy because we can just screw directly into the studs because we know where they are because they've been marked. On the left hand side of the petition I used no shims and on this side I've put some 6mm shims at the back of this piece of timber to square the whole thing up. So now we know that this frame is now completely square. So when we put our plasterboard on there we can be confident that the bath's going to fit perfectly in the corner. So we're now ready to fit and level the bath. And to determine the height of the bath you need to measure your actual panel for your bath and you need to set your bath to the height of the panel. And this particular one is 545 mil. So if you put it down on a flat surface like that and measure it, we've got 545 mil. So we need to set the edge of the bath to 545 mil from the tiles and ensure that it's level. And that should be the correct height for fitting the bath panel up. So we can now set the height of the bath by just adjusting the feet that we screwed on earlier. And if we turn those in a clockwise direction, it should raise the bath up. 
So that is now 545, so we can now lock it using the lock nut there on the top. So we can lock that up with a spanner after. But before we do that, we need to level the other four feet. So we've leveled the bath and it's perfectly level that way and it's perfectly level that way. And when you do this, you've got to keep checking that all your feet are touching the floor. Because it's four feet, it is extremely difficult getting it level. Once you've got it level, you can then lock up your lock nuts on your feet so that your feet don't actually move. So now we've got that bath exactly where we want it. So I'll just take the level off there. I'm now just going to draw a line along the top of the bath using a pencil. Now we've got the pencil line marked, we can now remove the bath. So if I put something flat on there, and then take a rule, and we can measure the actual thickness of the lip on the bath, which is 45mm. So now what we need to do is draw another line underneath the line we've just put on there, 45mm below the line we've just put on. So we've got the ceiling strip on the edge of the bath now, and I've also fit the waist ready. So now the bath's ready to be lifted into position. So this is definitely a two-man job, it's not something you can do on your own, especially when you've got pipes that you need to lift it over. So we're now going to lift the bath up and we're going to move it into the exact position where it needs to be. And we've also fixed some substantial battens to the wall there, which are 3x2. Uh, you don't need to use anything anywhere near as thick as that, it's just some timber that we had left over. You can quite easily get away with using a piece of slate batten or anything like that. So we're now ready to lift the bath and put it back in the position where it should be. So now I'm going to go around and I'm going to screw the actual feet in the position they're in now because the bath is perfectly level. So the ideal thing to do this with is a, a right angle drill. Now we're going to make a frame to support the bath and support the bath panel. If you look at that white line there, that's the actual line that I've drawn when the bath panel was in position. I've already did it in once and I've checked it. But before we can put the actual bath panel in position, we need to fix it to something. So I've got this piece of wood, which is the same thickness as the bath panel. So I'm going to put that on the line from where the bath panel was, and then I'm going to mark on the inside of it. So that's the line where I need to build my frame to for my bath panel. So I'm going to do the same now against the long length of the bath. So I've now got a line that I can follow. What I'm going to do on the inside of there is I'm going to make a frame that comes up. Look here under the bath we've got some wooden blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a frame that goes from the floor up to these wooden blocks to support the bath fully. To save time with the battens instead of drilling the tiles to screw to the floor I'm actually going to use a grab adhesive and this particular one is called maximum torque and uh, it's a, a very good uh, grab adhesive so I'm just going to apply some of this now onto the timbers and I'm going to glue them down where I want them on the floor. So I've set that block directly under the block on the lip here so I can then brace it with a piece of wood going up there. I'm now going to do the same in this corner. I've also been using some tile off cuts just to bring up the floor level.
So the actual piece of wood is flush with the lip of the bath. So if I measure from there to the lip of the bath, and we've got 475 millimeters there. So I'm now going to cut a piece 475 millimeters, and I'm going to put it from there up there to the piece of wood on the bath. So I've cut the first block of wood, and uh, I've made it an extremely tight fit. Uh, it's not going to need knocking in with an hammer. I've not made it that tight, but it is. Uh, a very tight fit so it does need pushed into position and once it's pushed in it is going to uh, support the bath fully. So I'm now going to glue these pieces of wood in position and I'm going to use some exterior grade wood glue. Uh, I could use grab adhesive but the wood glue is a little bit thinner and when I push it on there because it's a tight joint it will slide in there anyway. So you can see that the block of wood is glued to the tiles at the bottom and then moves up straight and goes straight up to the block of wood at the top of the bath there. And it's important to make sure that wood set back far enough so that your bath panel will go on. And this piece of wood is roughly the same thickness as the bath panel and you can see that that does fit on there. So I'm now going to repeat that all the way around the bath panel. Every word's a, a block of wood on the bath, I'm going to support it using that method, using a piece of wood. Now we're on the side of the bath, we don't have as much room, so a normal piece of 3 by 2 won't fit up there because it touches the bath there. So I've had to just tape it off slightly at the top. So now we can still get our bath panel on there, because like I said before, this piece of wood is roughly the thickness of the bath panel.